Could you explain the difference between chemtrails and contrails, please? Okay. Contrails requires certain altitude and certain temperature to be formed. That has to be quite high up and there has to be a minus 38 degrees Celsius or lower. And then they very seldom are persistent, very unusual. They will last usually for 15 to 30 seconds and then disappear. But, but not most normal jet engines, newer, modern, don't give a contrail at all. And that's very common. You see the <coughs> plane crossing the sky and you don't see any trail. But the unusual circumstance, which is not normal, is when a plane gives a persistent trail called chemtrail or aerosol trail. And the reason for this is that small particles, nano-sized particles of different kinds of uh, metals like aluminium, barium, strontium, are emitted. And immediately the humidity in the air sticks to the particles and a cloud is formed. So it's artificial cloud formation you see behind uh, the plane. And therefore this cloud stretches from horizon to horizon and slowly di dissipates and becomes an artificial what you call cirrus cloud or make, giving the sky a milky white hazy appearance.